Hi, I'm Marty Nemco. Of course, laziness can be caused by many factors, but I frequently observe the following pattern. When a client self-describes as lazy, he or she usually says it tends to run in the family. Typically, at least one parent is similar. That parental disposition toward laziness expresses itself day in and day out. And because sloth is by definition easier than diligence, the child seeing that, along with most kids' desire to emulate their parents, means that the child quickly starts to express a predisposition to laziness. The parent typically recognizes the child's laziness as ill effects, poor work habits, sloppy room, refusal to do chores, but the lazy parent by definition lacks the drive to make diligence non-negotiable and a priority. That's true if only because the parent would feel like a hypocrite demanding diligence when he or she is lazy. The slothful child then tends to pick friends and activities that are consistent with their laziness, kids who aren't diligent about schoolwork or even personal hygiene, and after school spending much time, quote, hanging out, that is, listening to music, watching TV, playing video games, and later, often premature sex and substance abuse all things that don't require a lot of drive. As adults, such people tend to retain only low-level jobs. Even if they're intelligent, they may impress in job interviews and in quick ability to learn on the job, but they soon tend to fall out of favor when their laziness takes a toll on their work's quality and quantity. Not surprisingly, they tend to choose lazy romantic partners, which reinforces the laziness, and if they have kids, the cycle continues on to the next generation. Approaches? Of course, there are no magic pills for personality change, but one or more of these that have helped my clients might help you. At work, aim for jobs in which your work doesn't require much initiative and is closely monitored. One psychology-related example, employee assistance professional, in which calls come in and you're expected to resolve a certain percentage per day. Even most lazy people care what others think of them. If you show even a moderate sense of responsibility, you'll get more respect and friendship from responsible people, and that in turn will motivate you to act even more responsibly. Choose a not lazy romantic partner. Lazy people may have other attributes, looks, intelligence, integrity. Show those, and you may attract the sort of partner whose diligence will rub off on you. As a parent, Remind yourself that kids, for genetic and environmental reasons, tend to take after their parents. Of course, you don't want your child saddled with the burden of laziness. Do your best to model reasonable behavior. Sure, that means daily tasks like cleaning up after dinner, but there are many other opportunities. For example, you might say something like, that tree crack in the sidewalk is dangerous. While we're thinking about it, let's go out and get a little bag of cement and fill it so no one gets hurt. And while you needn't be perfectly consistent, Make clear that you expect diligence in homework, chores, and so on, and as deserved, giving attaboys, girls, or that school marm look of disappointment. In any event, I thank you for, oh, wait a minute, I guess I should tell you this. Um, anyway, that's it, I guess. Um, I want to thank you for watching, and uh, in any event, I uh, welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments, and uh, especially like it if you hit the share button below and share on your social media so that my efforts can have broader impact. And I particularly like it if you share this with your, uh, uh, with anyone who might need it. Um, and I, I'm flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel. And in any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemco.